Okay, we're here. I'm gonna replace or install, I'm not sure, the ice machine with remote condensed coil. Condenser coil remote, so we'll see how it goes. It's Hoshizaki. What is it, KM630? Okay, well, grab a half inch uh, socket on this guy. Make sure it's working. Okay. A little condition. Easy swap. There's a freezer pulling back in. Bring your gauge. I want to break that. Something needs to be. Oh, they both tied up together, huh? Yeah, the overflow and the uh, and the drain line. And ready to go. Oh, dude, it's so bad. The compressor control. Yeah, you ready? Okay, I don't know, it wasn't head at all. Look. <laughs> you see what's happening here? <laughs> it's freaking gone. Compressor is going to fall in the ice here. Hey, my ice machine dropping compressor. It's not the same machine. Shorter profile? It's very short, way shorter. Right? Looks like a shorter profile, isn't it? Well, that's a 660, this is a 650. Another Could have worked for a little longer, like another maybe 50 years. <laughs> but that's, that's completely gone. Compressor compartment. Oh, we need a cut. To cut that, please. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna start this way since I'm left handed.
not gonna do one step. We're just doing the, uh, it's going in a wall. So we, we're doing just stands. Mm -hmm. It's not the number paid. I think you're fine right there. Oh, yeah, it's the Yeah, Hey, that's not beautiful. Nice. Line set comes pre-charged. We need, when we use connectors, we need to recover refrigerant from the lines before we use them, before we cut them out. They use these access ports on this end, so we decided to go the same way. So there this one first. Yeah, yeah. Now our line set is done. Okay, we didn't connect them yet. So now I need to vacuum line set and we're gonna charge okay that was about 120 psi in each pipe and so we will leave it like that for a while I know. How do you replace this? They, they have to be kind of clip on or something, right? Yeah, the other kind of there. Uh, Looks like blood. blood uh, yeah, it looks like a bunch of wrap there. Okay. okay. That's my luck. Remember, you're working with me. Everything goes wrong today. set pre-charged, machine pre-charged, upstairs unit pre-charged, so just plug and play at this point. They saying to lubricate all unit. 
Okay. That's what the book said. There's a little more rings right there. It's kind of dirty. Look at this. Okay. Lubricate that. It's manufactured design. Oh my gosh. Kind of. there okay everything tight up everything tight up on the back as well we need just to connect water now and we'll be good to go much ready to start it. Let's put everything back together. Like that. Just double check flare connections. I don't trust flares at all that's good and that's good let's see if we can find any bubbles on it I think we're fine. Oh, the one on top is no. closed. Maybe you, you pull it a little. In the... Yeah? All good? No leak? No leak? Okay, start it up. Boom. Power switch, no? Oh, yes, oh, we need left one as well. And. Oh, come on.
down with the size machine. As you drop ice, it's not gonna vibrate. I check on that already. So everything new except line set. We couldn't access line set to replace it, so all good now. Trash truck. <laughs> That's how ice machine install goes. Yeah. Lots of crap in both trucks. Okay, you're all done driving home. Three o'clock right now. Three ten. I have service call to look at the freezer, walk-in freezer in Orange County. This job was in Tamiaklo somewhere here. Take the exit, then keep left to merge onto CA91 West toward Beach Cities. Keep Earth now City. City. Use the left two lanes to keep left onto Eastern Transportation Corridor toward South County. Gotcha. Almost there. Use the left two lanes to turn onto Baranka Parkway. Okay, we're here. Let's go see.
they didn't don't look small or anything but if it doesn't mean anything it still might be it okay let's check power okay power at the contactor is fine out of the contactor is fine I'm thinking it's a start component uh, start uh, capacitor that one okay uh, let's test it decide to do I'm gonna cycle it off and on a couple of times just to make sure I she's gonna unload product from the freezer just in case I told her I cannot promise her it's gonna work but I'll get tomorrow 40 microfarad run capacitor I have it on a truck but I want to replace uh, potential relay as well it's a freezer. I, you see the previous one rated 145. At the lower board it was reading 140. And uh, it doesn't run since morning. It couldn't start it up. So maybe it's not only only start up. I'm gonna replace all the start components on it. Okay, let's try to cycle it off and then turn it back on, see if it's gonna restart.
Okay, I'm gonna try to restart it again, see if that's gonna come on again. Okay. Nice. Okay, it did pump down because it's went down because the uh, uh, thermostat has a little delay. So uh, we're waiting for thermostat about a minute until it's gonna start to cool for the compressor to come on. We'll see if it restarts again. Was that? We were super busy. We never had a break this year. It's it's weird year. We we. I thought I would be able to take vacation this year, but there is no way that, I don't know. I... That's how you pull contactor wires out. Just wanted to let it sit for a little bit. It's been a minute or two since I pulled the contactor wire out. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see if it's gonna start up now. Test it maybe on a relay for the cooler. Let's see. I swapped uh, these uh, relays. Trying to see if compressor is gonna start up based on the potential relay for the cooler compressor. Right now, thermostat is not calling yet. I'm thinking it's potentially a way. No problem comes on. Okay. Alright, we'll leave it off for tonight and then get in with a for it. Okay, we're all done. Pretty good. Oh, luckily she has she didn't have anything in cooler because she doesn't she's saying she doesn't even use it she needs freezer only so far and uh, she had an extra maybe that's why start capacitor start to go bad too long in a circuit or or not enough in a circuit because of relays week uh we shut the unit off we're gonna pick up parts tomorrow and I'm gonna be here in afternoon tomorrow. I, I have already a compressor change out, job scheduled for tomorrow morning. So we're gonna be in afternoon working on this one. Uh, might be a compressor, but when it, once it started, it pulls, it pulls what, 9.3 amp, and it says max rating the running amp, uh, 18 amps. So I think that's fine. I don't think it's a compressor. I'll see, I'll test tomorrow.